Hey, hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. Happy New Year. We are back with a PayPal request from my friend Sam Stoll. Now, Sammy has made a request before and it was for John Carell uh, recently. And this one is for another new drummer to me. And all he's put here is, this is a good friend of mine. He is in 12 or so different projects, glassing being the most noticed of all of them. I don't even know who the drummer is yet. I'm just gonna click on the link and we're gonna check it out. Let's hit it. I love the lighting and, and the whole room. Oh, I, just, I, was, I was just saying, I love the whole vibe of this already. Uh, no cymbal felt or washes on the, I was gonna say ride, but it looks like it might actually be a crash, which indicates, and it's quite high, so he's gonna be edging it. Hey, we've got loud rock and roll by the looks of it in a residential area, annoying the neighbors, I approve. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Scott Osmond. I have to say, I really do dig the aesthetic. It's actually quite a cool looking room anyway. It's very, very real. We're used to a lot of triggered sounds, um, you know, now with this kind of heavier stuff. Nothing triggered here, I don't think. It sounds pretty organic. I think we're rocking the AKG C214 or 414 over here, which uh, I'm a big fan of, the uh, condensed mics. And um, yeah, we've got just a hard hitting drummer, uh, Scott Osmond. Now, if we just pop down here, 188 views since 2018. Guys, if you do dig this kind of music and you enjoy this video, please head along to the original video and support. I'm going to give them another like. I'm going to hit subscribe. And uh, yeah, please do the same if you do enjoy this video. It, uh, it means a lot. Let's keep it going. Quite creative camera work. I like, I like it. appreciate when a drummer appreciates note value. Uh, choking the cymbals for those short staccato stabs, it's all good stuff. I'm gonna back it up a little bit.
such a student type uh, living like a flat. I love it. Oh, we're good. We're fading out. So I have just brought up the Glassine website and um, yeah, I, Scott Osment on drums. So I didn't, you know, at the start, I, I quite like going in completely cold, knowing as little as possible, just so I get a complete authentic reaction, put it that way. So yeah, uh, credit due to Scott Osment and Glassine. And thank you so much for Sammy Stoll for the request. This is a good example of now, don't take this the wrong way. Please don't take this the wrong way. This is a good example of exactly what I wouldn't have watched or listened to prior to doing reactions. I've probably mentioned this a few times now. You know, sitting down, giving the time and the credit due to these different genres. I've always felt like my taste is pretty eclectic, but listening wise now it is completely all over the map and i'm getting there through drummers and i'm getting there through you guys requesting drummers you know random drummers that i would never have heard of or seen and and to be completely honest some videos that don't have a lot of views that potentially don't have a massive audience so it's absolutely fantastic and i just hope that if you as a casual viewer of the channel watch that if this is your cup of tea Head along, subscribe, like, go and support the original artist, of course. Drumming wise with the style, I, I saw post hardcore pop up. For me, it's just sort of heart and soul. You just put it all out there. You know, you finish the gig, you know, you're all sweaty and you feel like you've kind of done a workout. That's the kind of vibe you get with this kind of stuff. It's just all in. You're just putting your heart and soul on the line and you just go in, you're hitting the drums hard and um, I just think it's awesome. And that's not to take away from the accuracy or the actual playing ability, it's not just pounding the drums. There's a lot of really cool composition, orchestration ideas going on in the drums in these parts. You know, there was a lot of peaks and valleys in the song where, you know, it, it went right down then we got that like across from the snare to the floor tom and I think he was uh, putting a bit of double kick in there and, totally changed the feel and the vibe and you know a lot of dynamic especially at the end with the shimmering uh, tip of the stick on the cymbals so we are getting a lot of color within the drawings it's not just um, bash and crash there's actually a lot of stuff going on here and again thanks to you guys thanks to watching these videos and these styles of drumming and music that I didn't listen to before I'm starting to get a much more deeper appreciation of the potential vocab within some of these styles and how you know a lot of the time it's not that different to some of the stuff that i'm more used to or that i would play myself it's not that different there's just a little bit of a different intent certainly a different vocal style but there are a lot of commonalities within the vocab of the drumming and and a lot of these different styles so it's just great to see guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoy the video please consider subscribing hitting that like button and leaving me a comment with what you thought of the video or what you would like me to check out in the future. Until next time, ciao.